Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do today is show you how to convert from degree form over to radian form. And this becomes very important, especially when uh, we, we need to use a calculation that's going to be radian form and if we have an angle that is in degree form. So to basically do that, we have our, co our conversion ratio. To go from degrees over to radians, we need to, all we're simply going to do is multiply by pi over 180 degrees. And notice, if you remember when we talked about um, you know, talking about the measurement of pi and 180, these are equivalent to each other, right? Just like if I had 3 over 3, we know that's equal to 1. Well, pi over 180, that's still equal, you know, that's equal to 1 as well. It's just in different formats. One's in radian form, which would be pi, and the other one is in degree form, which would be 180 degrees. So what I'm going to do for each of these problems is I'm simply just going to multiply by pi over 180 to therefore represent our um, angle in radian form. So the first one, I'll take 45 times pi over 180. Now it's very important when make sure, sure that we are um, doing this, that we represent that uh, 45 degrees is really can be written as a fraction over, over 1 as well. So really that's 45, um, 45 over 1. So remember when we multiply fractions, we have 45 degrees times pi divided by 180 degrees. Um, now, looking at this, we can see that my degree symbols, those are going to divide each other out, and then I can reduce 45 over 180. So remember, when we're reducing fractions, what we want to do is say, you know, what number can divide the same in the numerator and in the denominator? Well, in this case, we know that 180 does not divide into 45, but what we do see here is that um, 45 divides into 180, and 45 also divides into 45 obviously, right? Um, so that's the largest, what we call our largest common denominator that divides into both our numerator and our denominator. So I can reduce this down. 45 goes into there one time. 45 goes into 180 four times. Therefore, I'm left with 1 times pi over 4. Again, my degree symbols divide out. And then 1 times pi, I can just rewrite as pi over 4. So that would be my radian measure, which is equivalent to 45 degrees. Now, for the next couple of problems, I'll, I'll work a little bit quicker. Uh, so here we have 300 degrees. Again, I'm just going to do the same thing. 300 degrees over 1 times pi over 180 degrees. Now this time, my denominator is smaller than my numerator, but it still doesn't divide into it evenly. However, I can, I, I can identify um, a number that divides into both of them. And you know I can just look at this and say uh, 30, right? 30 divides. Um, I can divide uh, the numerator and the denominator. So I can divide. So really, this is 300 degrees times pi over 180 degrees, because that's going to be 1. Um, divide 30 up top, and that's going to leave me with 10 pi. Over divide 10 on the bottom, that's going to leave me with, uh, oh, 30, I'm sorry. That'll leave me with 6. And then here, I can divide now. I can say that 2 divides into them. So I can reduce this again into 5 pi over 2. I, can, I divided 10 by 2 and 6 by 2. So therefore, I have 5 halves. Now, when you have a negative number, um, again, we're just going to be doing the same thing. It's not really going to change anything. I'm just going to take this number, 270 degrees, um, times pi over 180. Now, again, in this case, you can see that, oh, well, guess what? 30, again, divides into our, um, yeah, 30, again, is going to divide into them. So 5 halves, 30 into 6. OK, so when I go ahead and divide into, um, 30 into the top, well, I'm left with negative 270 degrees over pi divided by 180 degrees. Now I can do 30 up there, which is going to give me a negative 9 pi. And then over uh, 180, 30 is going to go into there uh, 30, 60, 90. It's going to go in there six times. And then I can reduce that again, divide by 3, and that's going to be a negative 3 pi over 2. Now, in my last example here, I have 81 degrees. Well, if we do the same thing, we do 81 degrees times pi over 180 degrees. And you can see that, all right, well, what number can I divide into 180 as well as um, 81 degrees? And the unfortunate answer is we can't. So therefore, if we're going to leave this in fractional form, it would just be 81 pi over 180. However, sometimes we might want to um, if we still want to write this in radian form, we could leave it like this, or we could actually use um, represent this as a fraction. So I do 81 times, uh, I'm sorry, 81 divided by 180, which would be 0.45. So we could do 0.45 pi, or we could multiply that 
multiply those together, and then round it to approximately 1.41 radians. Okay, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you convert from degree to um, radian form for an angle. Thanks.